ワンピース行くぞ Go D. Rogers Pirate Crew Reviewed Hi everyone, Flying Panda! Finally, all the Roger Pirates are reviewed. If you do not want to be spoiled, please don't watch this video. I'll give you a moment to think about it. Still here? Great, let's begin. SBS Volume 96, all that drew and named all of the Roger Pirates. The image is not clear and they might change, but you get an idea of who is who. What's more amazing is that all the names are reviewed as well. Wow, let's go through them. Of course, first it's Goldie Roger, the captain of the Roger Pirates. He held the title of the Pirate King and owned the legendary treasure known as One Piece. Next, we have Silver's Rayleigh, an extremely powerful and famous retired pirate who formerly served as the right mate of the legendary Roger Pirates, known as the right hand of the Pirate King. Next, we have Crocus, who was recruited as a doctor into the crew to keep Roger alive on their final journey. However, Crocus didn't display some physical strength as an old man, stopping Bazooka's blast with his own body. Then we have Scropper Garbin, is said to be one of the best men alongside Rayleigh by Roger himself. Then we have Shanks, over the decades has established a reputation and obtained power, becoming one of the four powerful pirates known as the Yonko. And we have Buggy, who gained a notorious reputation in East Blue as a captain of the Buggy Pirates. However, he's not as formidable as some of the pirates from the Grand Line, indicating there was a strength divide even in the Roger Pirates. Now, those are the pirates that we know already. Let's talk about the new ones. First, we have Blue Marine, who looks like an old man with a traditional pirate design. Next is Spencer, who's got long hair. Very Cavendish design about him. What's special is also there's a headshot of him as well. Next is Banklo, who has a very mini Jack Sparrow design about him. And we have Peter Moo. His design is very musketeer, very bobbins, if you really look closely, with the hairstyle of Igarim. Next, we got Captain Muglin, who's smoking a cigar. Find out where the captain is the same captain as the marine captain. So maybe could it be in a former marine? Here's a familiar face that we've seen before Fishman Sunbell, who's obviously a fishman. It seems every pirate crew now has a fishman in them. Next up, it's Moon Isaac J. Again, a very musketeer kind of design and a massive, massive nose. On to the next page now of the Roger Pirates, and next it's Rowan or Low Wing. He seems like a short little man. Next is Ganryu, translated as Dragon Eye Kanji. Who seems to be kitted up with a lot of leather. Next is Millie Bane or Millie Bane, who seems like a short Viking dwarf. Next we have Mr. Momora, who also seems like a swordsman. Next we have Max Marks, who seems like a massive guy, very Douglas Bullet about him. Jackson Banner. Who also seems like a swords person as well. Next, we have Irio, who's got a mustache and a very straw hat like hat on his head. Next, we have Yamon. I don't know, is she a female or is it he? So far, we have not seen any Roger Pirates who are female, but this one seems to have a spear from the Shandian tribe. This is a familiar face. Nosden, not Seago. I wonder why, because we've been calling him Seago all this time. But yes, he seems a strong kind of brute fighter. Next is CB Gallant, who's got a gladiator feel about him that we've seen in Dress Rosa. Next up, the torn skinny Yui, whose hair has been floating but wearing a dress. 
Next is Langram, who's got a very barbarian feel about him. Next we have Doringo, who seems to be a sword fighter as well, and are those wings on his back? Next we have Taro, whose design almost looks like X Drake, with a skinny sword and spiky hair. And finally, we have Don Kino, who looks like a sailor, like Popeye the Sailor Man with his pipe. So that's it everyone, 28 Roger Pirates. Crazy right, to get the nun so soon. Kind of sad though, they didn't mention about Kozuki Odin, or even Kozuki Toki, Inorashi or Nikomomushi. Come on, they did travel with the Roger Pirates as well. And of course, what about One Piece Stampede's Douglas Bullet? Where is he? Was he in that list at all? Couldn't find him. I remember, since Strong World, the One Piece film, every character has been canon. So we can't say he's non-canon, can we? So it kind of sucks that we haven't seen Douglas Bullet. Who knows, maybe he'll show up in the near future, because this had the same effect with Shiki from the Strong World film, where Shiki appeared in episode 0, and then all of a sudden now, he appeared for the Rocks Pirates. However, there were some changes, like a fan noticed Shiki being mentioned in the manga and asked Oda if the character was one and the same with the character in the movie. Oda confirmed that the two characters were one and the same and explained more about him. Originally, Oda wanted to have Shiki be mentioned during the meeting between Shanks and Whitebeard. He however held back because he thought it might be too much info for readers and confuse them. At that time, he didn't know that the story about the pirates who caused havoc during Roger's time would be made into a movie. So maybe it will be the same with Douglas Bullet, because we know he's a former Rogers pirate and it's been stated that he was a former level 6 prisoner of Impel Down. So let's see. Now going back to the Roger pirates, did any of these pirates really interest you? 28 pirates. Initially I thought it would be identical to the Straw Rats where they have exactly 11 members, but having 28 100% Luffy would not have 28 members like Roger, but wow, 28 characters of the Roger Pirates. I really look forward to seeing them in action, hopefully in a flashback or their own arc. There's other really cool information from this SBS as well, but I won't say too much because the Arthur Library of O'Hara probably will mention this very soon in better description and better images. This includes more information about the retainers, their heights, and their favorite type of food. And of course, this includes Kanjiro as well. There's also other cool stuff on there, like questions for Oda. Like question like, Luffy likes to give nicknames to everybody, why is that? And Oda replied that Luffy's kind of a guy who doesn't want to remember any names, and he only remembers the name that he cares about. But funny enough, he didn't actually give Katakuri a nickname, did he? Katakuri for Nakama? And another piece of information that got me really excited. It confirmed an old theory that I made 5 months ago. Of course not including the one I made 5 years ago that Koshiro is from Wano. But the one I done 5 months ago that Koshiro is the son of Shimatsuki Kozobaro. The person who made the Wado Ichimochi and Enma. Wow. Please check out that old video. And I also predicted in that video that Denjiro was the witch in our boy as well. So yeah, check that old video and maybe more will come true. Which also relates to Tashigi being for Wano and Denjiro as well. So that's it from this video. So hopefully tomorrow or day after you start seeing more videos about this from everybody else. So yeah. Hope this was a good introduction of what's to come from the other YouTubers. But other than that, please everyone, stay safe. This coronavirus is going crazy now, so the best thing to do is stay home. So wherever you are, all my brothers and sisters from around the world, please stay home guys. I want you guys to be safe. Because this time, in 5 years, or a little bit more, I want to share the final journey of One Piece, when it finally does end. Anyways, please leave your comments down below, please hit like and if you haven't, please subscribe to Flying Panda and join our Discord.
行くぞ！